Disease monitoring is a cornerstone of public health. If you can't count how many people are sick in a population, you can't do very much to actually improve its health. But it's actually possible to use disease models, these are mathematical models of disease spread, to forecast how many people will get sick tomorrow or next week. So much like how you have a weather forecast that will tell you what the weather will be like next week, it's possible to use mathematical models to forecast how many people will be sick next week. And you can use this information to actually help better plan public health interventions. When we build these mathematical models, we need to use a variety of non-traditional data sources to help improve its accuracy and forecasting ability. So for example, if we just relied on the epidemiological data that was reported by doctors or clinics around the country, there's about a two week lag for loss of those data sources. So to help bridge the gap, we look to these other non-traditional data sources, such as internet data streams like Google or Twitter or Wikipedia. When people get sick, they tend to search for information online. And we can capture these digital traces and we can use this to infer how many people are sick in a population. Uh, other ones can be satellite data. So for example, if we wanted to monitor the spread of a mosquito-borne disease, and an example of that would be dengue or chikungunya or Zika, which you've probably heard a lot about in the news recently. So we can use satellite data to infer the vegetation levels and how moist or wet a certain region is. And this will relate to how many mosquitoes are there, which then relates to the number of human cases of a mosquito-borne disease. People often ask, why is Los Alamos National Laboratory forecasting diseases? The reason is public health is a national security issue. Diseases do not respect borders or boundaries. So a disease that might start in West Africa can quickly spread around the world. An example would be, look at the Ebola outbreak of 2014. It required an international response. By forecasting diseases, we're better able to ensure a healthier world, which ultimately makes it more secure.